I'd like to introduce Councilwoman Elizabeth Crowley, 32nd Council District. Thank you. Oh, great. Uh, just a slight correction. Uh, 30th, 30th Council. Sorry, that's right. That's right. Yeah, that's that's right. Neighbor, 32. And uh, I do believe I have more than one home in Haven than the 32nd. 30 30 Wh whichever it is. Proud to represent your area. Um, these are tough times in New York City. It's all over the news. It, it's no surprise. Um, the next couple weeks in the City Council, we're concentrated on balancing a budget. And currently, there's about $1.5 billion budget gap. And uh, it's the trick to see how we're going to balance the budget, whether it's cur cutting more services or raising taxes in other, our areas. If it's up to me, I wouldn't raise any taxes. I think within every city department, there's wasteful spending. And you don't need to cut the services that make our lives better, that improve our quality of life but cut in areas where there's excess. And for example, the fire department. The fire department is proposing to cut 16 different fire companies and they haven't named all the companies yet. And you know from experience when they try to close companies before, they did so, they tried to close Woodhaven and they closed Richmond Hill in the past. Well currently they identified four that they want to close as of July 1st. And uh, within this budget, January, the 12 other companies would follow. And they expect us to vote on the budget without even identifying where these 12 other companies would be. That I don't agree with at all. The fire department every year spends $180 million in overtime. And uh, this isn't just overtime in firehouses. It's not what the firefighters are getting. It's Firefighters that are getting additional money to do teaching or chiefs and other senior level management that directly works with the commissioner. And I strongly believe that you could save money in these departments, help balance a budget without raising taxes, and keep all these fire companies open. And it's really a fight that the fire department is having with the union, and they're putting us in the middle, and our lives and our safety and in jeopardy. And if need be, I'm going to come back here. If, if they do name the Woodhaven Astro, the Woodhaven Firehouse, and if they don't take these companies off their uh, particular budget right now, I'm going to call on you to protest with me at the firehouse to make sure that they don't take away our fire. We'll keep the fire house open and uh, we'll make sure that the fire commissioner hears us. There's you know, a couple other things on the agenda. I know we all want this elevated train to get painted. It's been far too long. I've gotten promises from the MTA. Um, I'm waiting to get it writ a written response. I called them up. I'm going to also have a press conference which I'll let Maria and Lance know and Hopefully, we'll announce it to you as well so you can participate because the MTA keeps saying, oh, next year, next year, but it's been far too long. If you look at other major business districts that have elevated trains, they're not nearly in the condition that this particular one is, and it's not fair to our community. And it's a shame. And it's a shame on the MTA, and we've taken it enough. So that's going to happen, and I'm going to make sure I'm going to hold the MTA to task. puts a lot of emphasis on these traffic control enforcement agents. Uh, some of them work for the police department, some of them work for the Department of uh, Transportation. They're always looking to ticket us and raise money through putting more of these type of workers on the streets. When the truth of the matter is that we need more police officers in the police precinct. Uh, I feel that areas within this community and throughout most of Queens do not receive enough uh, police patrol. And uh, whether it's admitted or not, I'm hearing a lot that the burger, burglaries are up and people's homes are being invaded and I feel that this would happen much less if we were able to have more patrol. And, um, and it, unfortunately, I think because of the size of our 
communities, because we're lower density than some others, it takes longer for uh, police to get from one part of the district to another part, and it definitely impacts uh, our quality of life. So I'm calling on the uh, police commissioner to put more police officers and the mayor on the street, especially in the 102 and the 104 precinct. And um, lastly, uh, we're, we're, we've introduced our first bill that was a public safety bill. Um, it, it is one where if you leave your car running and unattended, there's no significant uh, summons or penalty, and people do it all the time. And it is careless and innocent in a lot of ways, but in early February in Middle Village, part of the district that I represent, two young men were killed because a car was left running and unattended, and a drunken thief stole that car. And the one of four precinct where that happened said to me, one out of 10 cars that get stolen are stolen because cars are left running and unattended. And just this year, we saw four deaths. Two deaths in Middle Village, two deaths in Chinatown. So uh, I propose to raise that summons to $250. Really not to, to tax people, but to let people know how serious of an issue this is and how dangerous it can be if you leave your car running and unattended. And then we're, we're working on women's issues. Uh, our access to health care is decreasing every day, and many, many more doctors that practice women's health are leaving the profession because of the malpractice insurance. We're looking at ways of the city attracting more of these professionals and rebuilding where St. John's Hospital left. So our access to health care um, would improve. And, and right now, I feel that in Queens County, it, it has significantly decreased over the years, and it is so important, especially when we have emergencies, whether we have a heart attack or stroke, those few seconds it takes to get emergency services, to get to a hospital that could take care of your needs is so important. And, and that's what I'm going to continue to fight for in the city council. So thank you for having me here tonight. If you have any questions or concerns um, while I'm here, anybody? Um, we were told that uh, they would uh, paint the house in 2009, in the latter part of this year. And uh, we're going to have to watch the timing if they're going to do it, because I don't want them to <coughs> be out around Christmas time, right. and wh when people want to make money, you know, yeah. after they, they November. Can't, too, okay. the metal gets really cold in the winter time, and they have to do it while we have the good weather. And that's why, when they say the later part of 2009, that's why I want to have like a little rally and bring attention to it. Because I think the more pressure we continue to put on the MTA, the more likely it'll happen. That's true. I think 55 degrees, it has to be over 55 degrees, so it means by September or October yeah. they have to... I mean, it's a serious job, yeah. and it's not going to get done one to three. And they have to blast it, and then yeah. they paint it, and they'll have to move. But It'll, uh, we hope, get done real soon. And then the stanchions, they're another thing. The stanchions, you know, the pillars that hold the train up, they're deteriorating. And uh, I have called, I brought it to the attention of the DOT over and over again. Chunks are falling off of them. And they support the L. So if, you know, if that, if that L is not supported properly, it's not going to matter if we paint it or not because it'll be falling down. In addition to painting it, they have to put the reinforcement steel where it belongs to. So they can't just make it look pretty and walk away um, because of the neglect that they have given this elevated train. That's the reason that it's falling apart. And it happens. It's like if you don't take care of something right away and you neglect it over years, when you finally address the issue, it's going to be much more significant of a cleanup. And 